I've never even seen a CNC machine other than here on YouTube. So I have no right to design and build my own. But I did anyway. I saw where there could be improvements made. Being that I'm not a metal worker, uh, I decided to make this out of wood. I believe you can make a stout machine out of wood, and I believe I have done that. Uh, this is two pieces of three quarter ply glued together. Uh, this is two pieces of half inch ply glued. And this is two pieces, three quarter, making that inch and a half. Uh, I've seen most machines that are attached right here at the level of the deck. So they're attached right here. I decided to attach mine here and here, raising this above the deck, making it more stout. And, uh, I believe that I have accomplished that. This here is the uh, the base is on casters where I can roll it around, drop it. Uh, it goes in that corner right there. And I probably won't be moving it in and out much, but there it is in case I need to. At this point, the audio went bad, so that's the reason for this voiceover. I'm showing here some shots of the deck, which is actually a, a torsion box to ensure that uh, everything is flat and level. It's made out of three-quarter ply and, and uh, two bys around the exterior to band it. Here's where I'm uh, showing where the control box is going to go. It's go actually going to be a drawer that slides in and out. And here it is right here all made up with my electronics in it. This electronics kit I bought on eBay $300 includes these four stepper motors 428 ounce, four stepper drivers, two uh, 36 volt power supplies, one breakout board. Uh, it also includes, well, no, that's all that's in the kit. There's another uh, power supply here with a 12 volt and 5 volt uh, outputs to for some added fans inside this box and uh, the 5 volts is to control that breakout board. The wiring on this was not straightforward at all. In fact, they give you no wiring instructions. Uh, I learned how to wire this from uh, different websites and uh, channels here on YouTube. I got these motors set up uh, they're temporarily wired to the stepper drivers uh, just to do a bench test to make sure everything is working working properly before I uh, install them on the machine this here is a UC 100 uh, parallel to USB it's adapt well it's not an adapter it has its own uh, circuit board within so it enables me to uh, hook to a laptop so I can run this machine off of a laptop and this is an old laptop right here or here I am turning the motors uh, X Y and Z axis and the Y is Y and A slaved together. Right here I'm showing the slot in which the lid 
will cover all of this it just slides into place and here's the lid right here picking up and you'll probably recognize this uh, woodworkers will anyway uh, especially when I turn it over here as a table saw kickback <laughs> yeah I had a little accident uh, I was running this through my table saw and uh, trying to catch the waste material and not paying good enough attention to what I was doing thing show, shows the damage right there to my belly that's swollen right there not not saying that I'm not fat but now I'm a little bit fatter <laughs> uh, but uh, that just shows you gotta be safe the best thing to, to to avoid this is to have an outfeed table where you're not trying to catch your uh, waste stock but here foolishly I was trying to catch the uh, uh, the waste piece and not paying attention to my what I was doing and it, uh, it, it sure enough caught it and but it just goes to show you need to have your mind on what you're doing um, be safe and uh, just let your material fall to the floor if you don't have a outfeed table it is the safest thing to do I actually have an outfeed table but I wasn't using it at the time I was using it for other things I was going to cut some some of this out maybe put some sexy curves in it or something some of this stock is not just not needed uh, cut down on some of the weight I may still do that but I'm only I'm gonna get the machine working first and I may tear it all back apart just to get it get it all painted uh, I could possibly just paint it in place it just depends M main goal is to get it working right now excited about that and uh, if you're interested Stay tuned.